Hi there, I'm Sean Kay, and when I was in the classroom, I used to really hate writing reports. But I also love spreadsheets, and I found a really great way to use spreadsheets to get you started with your reports. Uh, it's pretty quick and simple, and I'd love to share it with you. If you would like to do it yourself, there's a link in the comments below so that you can um, make a copy and get started yourself. So I'll switch over to the computer and show you how it works. So this is my spreadsheet here. When you open it up, you'll come to this opening page, which basically tells you what you have to do to get started, which is what I'm going to explain in this video. And if you want to know about the formulas that are operating everything, they're all over on the right hand side here. It'll just give you a bit of background. The main um, sheets that you need to know about are the, the second sheet here, where you go and put in your information for your class, so student names. You don't have to put the last name, but you do have to put the gender. So you might see over this side, um, it won't populate a comment until you put in a um, whether they're male or female. So as soon as you do that, then it starts compiling a comment for you. All right, I'll give you a, a really quick rundown on how this works. So let's say I have a student and his name is Roger, and he's a male. Um, all I really need to do is to come in here and I'm going to write a quick intro sentence, a quick outro sentence. And then I just need to decide whether Roger is high, medium, or low, or a concern, for each of these areas. And then you'll see over this side, it's basically creating your comment each time you put in a grade. So if I take away the math, it takes the math grade out. So you don't have to use all of them. Now obviously you don't want to use my comments. so. What you do is you go down into the third sheet here, which says put in medium low high, uh, medium low comments. And in here, I've already populated mine, but what I can do if I was doing something completely different, I can just delete these. And when I write the reading comment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out things like the name for three hashtags, he or she for hash, he slash she, that whole phrase, and the same with his, her, him, her, or himself or herself. So let's say um, my high reading comment says Now when I put, want to put his or her, I'm going to put hashtag his slash her. Now press return. Now I'm just going to leave this as the one comment for now. But if I go back into input grades, and I'm going to get rid of all these other comments, including the intro and outro sentence. Now you'll see that um, all that's here is the comment um, about Roger's reading level. So it says, Roger has achieved above grade level and should be very proud of his achievements. Now, if I change Roger's um, gender to female, you'll see now it says, should be very proud of her achievements. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Basically going in here, setting up your comment bank, then coming back here, uh, putting in a gender, that's really, really, really important. And then once you've done that, go through and put in grades for everybody. And again, you don't have to put in a grade for everything here. And once you've done that, your spreadsheet will look a little bit like this. So for this spreadsheet, I've gone in, I've changed all my comments, and I've put in um, grades for all the kids. I've actually just changed it so that if you've left something blank, it will go yellow or it will be yellow so that you can see quickly if there are any ones that are not filled in. So here for James, I need to make sure I put in a grade. Let's say he's hiding and reading. Now, um, if, you, if you're not a, a normal classroom teacher or an elementary classroom teacher and you have a different subject, you can go into here and um, let's say you're a, an art teacher and you're studying um, testing composition, you can change that in here and it will change uh, in this part of the spreadsheet as well. So you can make this anything you want. If you're doing math, this could be algebra, geometry, all those sort of things. You'll see here that I have four levels that I'm reporting on. But if, let's say for instance, you have four different comments you'd like to use with your high readers, you can change the names of these levels to anything you want. You just have to make sure when you input the grades, you use the same um, word. So for instance, I could have H1 as my one high reading comment, and I could have H2, and I can basically just come in here, put in a new comment, so let's say this is high read 2, and now when I go to, um, to input in my grades, if I put H1, 
I'll get my higher reading comment. If I put in H2, then I'll get the other reading comment. So you could um, you could go in here and you could have three or four highs, three or four mediums, three or four lows, just to give yourself some diversity. So that's quite flexible. But then once you've put in all your grades, this is the next important part. Once you put in all your grades, you cannot edit the text in here. It's just not really the way it works. So what you need to do is you can just, well actually you could just copy this whole column. So just press the K at the very top. And then go into a normal document and just press um, B. And it will um, copy in all of your comments into a table. Now if you don't want them in a table, you can go to edit, paste that formatting and it will bring them in um, just as a paragraph. And then once you've done that, you can edit them in here and then bring them into PowerScore or whatever else you need. So, hopefully uh, this spreadsheet is helpful. Um, if it is, I'd really love you to give me a thumbs up down in the videos below. And perhaps you might want to look at some of my other videos that I've made about Google products and iPads and things like that. I hope you're having a great day. Good luck with your reports and leave me a comment if you have any questions.